Hello and welcome everyone back to another video, Magic Hat Terry back in crypto video. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another. I cannot say it's a bullish video, unfortunately, because what you're seeing it right in front of you is a huge dump happening right now in real time in the crypto scene. I'm going to be explaining to the reasons why it is happening. What will that mean for your and my bags? What should we do? I'm going to be giving you guys the latest news and of course my opinions. So watch the whole video through to reduce the uncertainty of what's going on and what should you do as well in the meantime. Okay, so as we look in in the crypto market today, Ethereum is down almost 20%. If we look at the coin market cap, ladies and gentlemen, you can see that a huge dump. Ethereum fell harder than Bitcoin to down to 2.3%. K absolutely crazy. Bitcoin is still doing slightly stronger, uh, sitting above 54k. Okay, there's a lot of fear going on right now. We're going to be talking about it. it. Obviously, people throwing out their recession. Oh my god, what does that mean? Okay, so in my opinion, okay, I'm not going to sell my bags. That's very foolish, guys. That's very foolish because I've mentioned this in the previous videos. Okay especially looking at things like the others uh crypto chart which is basically the chart excluding top 10 from the coin market cap ranking okay we are actually on track with the bull one these this time this section of the bull one is absolutely expected where you can see sideways action where it's a huge bear trap before the actual rally okay i've talked about this more in depth in my previous video you should probably go watch it but this chart right here if you pause the video read what i've written you'll understand that this is absolutely normal but it is of course tough times these are tough times that will shake a lot of people it will not it is not fun for you or for me okay because a lot of people here they're running dry out of uh, dry they're running dry out of dca money so you know what i mean it's like oh I'm going to be DCAing and then the floor keeps going lower and lower. When does it really stop? We cannot tell. No one has the crystal ball. You can always do the next best thing, which is obviously either do nothing as long as you don't sell. Because if you sold, you're realizing your losses. Okay. But going back to it, looking into the pulse chain world. Okay. Thankfully, not taking as big of a hit as Ethereum and Bitcoin looking today. Um, but obviously looking at the whole crypto market absolutely bloody market guys okay by the way shout out to kai uh, token kai ken is actually really looking attractive there in my opinion might do another video on that uh, but uh, yeah obviously we're still <laughs> heavily in the bitcoin uh, season you know what i mean we actually re need bitcoin to make retailers money we need you know ethereum to follow suit because of course once the big coins are making money that's where people now want to shop elsewhere to jump into altcoins to make even more money retailers have to win first before the alt season uh, at least that's how i think of it and i do think that's that's always how it's been do you know what i mean so uh yeah moving on as i as i showed you guys the market uh, with bitcoin again it has fallen absolutely crazy i'm going to quickly refresh and if we go to the bitcoin the us you can see it's at 53 Okay, absolutely crazy. A huge dump today of around, wow, 21%. Oh, sorry, not today. In the past, basically, week. Absolutely crazy. A huge dump. Um, looking into Ethereum, basically more or less the same, but it's just a harsher dump, unfortunately. This is the time where I can remind people that, you know, everyone's human. Okay, I talk about I talk about Richard Hart very greatly. One of the obviously he's human at the end of the day. He can't do everything perfectly. He's made people millionaires with hex that 10,000 X token. Absolutely crazy. And I do think he will pull off the same with pulse chain. Okay. It's just the timing of it, etc. etc. The sacrifice, you know what I mean? Sacrifice is not really that great in my opinion. And of course the fact that it had no cap, but just just a just a moment just to remind everyone that everyone's human, everyone will make mistakes. Okay. And what I'm referring to is, of course, the sacrifice funds, which by the way, sacrifice funds, which is basically the holding of Richard Hart that he will rotate into Pulse Chain once Ethereum is doing really well. Yeah, that will be over worth over a billion dollars. That's the asymmetric information I've been telling people on my channel so many times. Okay, I have the tab right here. Literally, I can see all of it. Okay, it's, it's not loaded in, but I can see all of the. Um, you know, the wallets around, I have around 43, I think, or 34 wallets, and I can see them holding 132,000 Ethereum, 
Okay. The only thing I was just going to say is that he bought that Ethereum at the wrong time where he could have actually bought it at the lows of Ethereum. Um, so yeah, that's just a reminder. But moving on to other things, of course, now when you look at the crypto Bitcoin dominance, things will go up. And that's exactly what I said in a previous video. Okay. Expect this percentage to go up before it actually falls down. Okay, and this is fine because it's a win-win. If Bitcoin goes up, it is always a win. Imagine now Bitcoin going to actually 49 million, as Michael Saylor says. Look into the ratios, because of course that's the one assumption that we have that won't change. You know what I mean? Ratios between Ethereum, between Bitcoin, between altcoins, and etc. etc. And then when you find the ratio between and you trickle it down all the way to Pulse Chain, and then now when Bitcoin goes to 49 million, think about where Pulse Chain will be. Huge 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 gains of course now i'm going to say that's aspirational do i see bitcoin going to 49 million in the next you know uh two decades mm, not 49 million but i do definitely see it going above a million which is absolutely bullish by the way uh but we obviously are here for this bull one because obviously it's crypto market is like a pendulum swing it swings from bear market to bull market it doesn't really change at least it hasn't broken out of that pattern in the past three or bull runs by the way um so uh, yeah you we want to make the best out of this bull run and hopefully make that generational wealth okay and then obviously uh sit on it until the next bull run right 2027 i think i'm not 100 percent sure but um yeah again looking at today's drop absolutely crazy in terms of the crypto total market cap we're in a, right now hovering at just above two trillion i still have my you know aspirational or slash I would say, you know, uh, doable, reaching that seven trillion market cap. Okay, now an aspirational one would be obviously breaking the two-digit, um, uh, two-digit um, total crypto market cap. To be honest with you guys, but basically the the, the way I've uh, came with that box is using the Fibonacci retracement. I can make a video on this on you know the best strategies to do with Fibonacci retracement and also like the golden, um, the what's it called the golden. Uh, zone the golden buy zone thing image so uh but yeah i still do see that you know what i mean you have to be optimistic guys at the end of the day you know what i mean we're in crypto we would rather be here than in the stock market and which is going to be our next point which is going to be almost the exact uh reason why this whole dump is happening in the crypto world because of course guys real world events and fear and uncertainty trickles into and affects crypto market now Okay, it's been like that because Bitcoin is such a mainstream token. It's even being mentioned by presidents, okay, as a, you know what I mean, as a driving factor to motivate people to vote for them now. So uh, yeah, we live in such a time. Um, but yeah, definitely, these are the main metrics I'm looking into. By the way, the crypto, uh, the others market cap, I guess that's what they, what that's what it's kind of called. And this is uh, where I see the things. So in my opinion, I do kind of assume that we're going to be in this bear trap sideways action up until september october where we can see the beginning the rallying up okay and I've, as i've mentioned in the other video we're going to see that peak around okay 2025 of course right the peak will be in 2025 around you know late march slash april okay we can see wave one around that time are we going to have two peaks like all the other uh, you know, b previous bull runs, I'm not betting on it. Okay, I'm definitely not betting on it. But I'm just saying, if you have the same money, if you're thinking about, oh my God, what should I do, etc., etc., don't rush. Okay, relax. Relax, don't worry, we have time. We have time. Make your thesis. There's a lot of tokens right now that are all in the, in the buy zones, all in the cheap buy zones. Okay, I know there's a lot of options. That's the one thing about this bull run is that it's harder than any other time okay not because number one we don't have any innovations okay outside of you know the ones that we've already had in the previous bull runs like ethereum coming out oh imagine uniswap coming out wow you know metaverse the bubble that popped nfts you know what i mean now we don't really have anything other than you know meme coins okay and even within that look at solana 99.99 percent of the tokens are all failures uh, rug pulls scams from celebrities etc etc okay so uh yeah that's why this bull one okay you can still make a lot of money no financial advice of course 
I can never guarantee you that crypto will make you money or may give financial freedom. You have to always do this as your own risk, risk capital only. Don't be investing with your rent money. But what I'm trying to say is that this is a hard bull market. Okay, one of the harder ones. Okay, because of course we have so many options, so many altcoins compared to you know the 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 Bitcoin have uh, the the bull run at uh, 2017, right? That's when Ethereum came out, and then you have the other one when Uniswap came up. This is probably around like 500 altcoins, and the one where Ethereum came out probably had around 50 to 100 altcoins, and the one that we have right now probably thousands, guys, thousands of altcoins to choose from. Okay, and this is disregarding the actual altcoins within the altcoins, right? You know, like meme coins and pulse chain. And within pulse chain, we have so many, by the way. I, I think I'm bullish on all of them. And that's a separate video. I've made a video, actually, the top 10 meme coins of pulse chain. You can check that out for sure. Uh, but of course, if you're new to pulse chain, right? What is it, etc., etc. I always tell people, start with the four horsemen. These are the four main narratives within pulse chain. By the way, PDI, the stable in the making, it's not a matter of how will it do it it's a matter of when will it do it it has already reached over halfway through there it has it's literally made 5000 x from the whole bottom by the way so keep that in mind you know what i mean and it's super thick liquidity it's really great go check it out by the way richard hart hinted at it etc etc and now you have pwbtc this is the same concept you know what i mean imagine going back in time okay imagine going back in time in bitcoin and having that chance to buy bitcoin under a hundred dollars yeah Pulse chain gives you those types of types of opportunities. It's literally a gold mine. The PRC20 clones, it's a gold mine. Okay. And now we have a tropa ecosystem. Yes, it's looking absolutely down. This is a correction. I'm gonna say that as you know, as hopium, copium as it sounds. <laughs> but it is like I truly really do believe that, guys. I mean, show me another a better opportunity to invest in during these times where everything is low. Okay, everything is low, including Ethereum. We've literally seen this. Like, look at this. Okay, let's look at the ETH, ETH BTC. Okay, let's do a quick uh, refresh. And then let's look at ETH BTC, how low it is. Okay, it's actually crazy F from the local top. Look at that, 51%. So yeah, when you talk about, oh, you know, a trope is down, uh, you know, for example, from here, a trope is down, oh, 80%. Da -da -da. Yeah, Ethereum is down 51% compared to Bitcoin. You understand what I'm saying? So put it within these ratios. Understand that, okay, this is normal. To see a lot of those tokens in the buy zone, it is not fun. It's not a great time to be in crypto right now. This is why sometimes it's better to do other things elsewhere. Don't look at, it, at the chart every single day. Learn to do something else. Learn to build yourself in the crypto world. You know what I mean? Learn to do other things. I've been cooking in the background, guys. This is why I haven't been uploading as frequently, but I really do urge you guys to subscribe for more videos like this. Give it a notification bell. I have projects that I'm in talks with that I'm going to, you know, share to you guys about and it's early opportunities within the Pulse Chain ecosystem as well. So definitely subscribe for videos like this. Let me know if you want me to, you know, upload videos more regularly to remind you guys of the best attributes of a disciplined trader. Okay, I'm not worried at all. Guys, I'm not worried at all. Do you know I mean, even when it's days where it's like, okay, too bad. I don't have that much DCA money coming in to buy the lower lows that's happening. But you know what? We've been making our position. We've been DCAing since December. If you were watching my videos since November, since October, I've been starting making posting videos around that time, October last year, guys. You know what I mean? I've been speaking about the same top 10 tokens that I'm holding right now. I've been speaking about the same ones since October, almost a year now. And being consistent, it will pay off. It will pay off. Okay? You have to believe in something, guys. You have to believe in something. Okay? At the end of the day, anything that we do is going to be risky. Okay? If you, wanna, if you want the least riskiest thing, go ahead and go on Bitcoin. Go hold Bitcoin. Okay? We all live once. There's only, as I said, there's only one bull run every four years choose your risk choose your risk when you go in the stock market there's always going to be a risk there you want to go here and there there's always going to be a risk you have to choose it you have to believe in something stick to that right the best strategy is to actually hold through the ups and downs okay, if you made your decision you've built a thesis to why these xyz tokens are gonna take your investment 
you have to stick through it. You have to be a disciplined trader. DCA is a, such a powerful tool. DCAing and hodling, <laughs> the two most powerful tools that you can do. Old and in dollar cost average. But anyways, going back to it, what are the reasons why we're seeing the dumps today, by the way? Okay, we're seeing things like, okay, Ripple prepares to sell 110 million uh, dollars worth of its token. I've already talked about this, how Ripple, you know, it sells as their token inflates. Uh, not a good look. This is why I'm been pulse chain. One, add another reason to the 500 reasons that I have why I'm in pulse chain. This is one of them. Pulse chain doesn't do any of this. Okay, Richard Hart doesn't even pay influencers, KOLs, to be disingenuous in videos. No, he doesn't do that. I prefer him doing the way that he's holding the sacrifices and he's going to appreciate that. He's going to literally shake out the people. Okay, he's going to shake the people out and he's going to time it right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, so yeah, I prefer him being a pulse chain. Second of all, looking at other stock market related stuff, NASDAQ, you know, they're being said it's in correction territory. Uh, and then you have obviously like, AI, um, what's it called? Like companies like Nvidia, they didn't have uh, that great of um, target results that met, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, we're going to be we're going to be talking more about that. So obviously fears of recession. By the way, that's what I'm trying to get at. Nasdaq tumbles over three percent. Obviously three percent. By the way, in the stock market is huge. Obviously, because if you look at the the, the crypto, uh, the the market cap of of Nasdaq. Is very big, okay. After jobs report sparks recession fears, okay. So this is kind of the key things I just wanted to talk about here. You see, uh, the Dow Jones Industrial Average dropped over 700 points, uh, da -da -da -da, as S and P 500 and Nasdaq fell over two and three percent respectively. Um, and then you have this is the first time the Dow has fallen be below the 40,000 threshold since July 23rd. Uh, and paces the index for its worst day so far. Okay, and then here the US economy has added 114,000 jobs in July, uh, but this was below analyst predictions of 185,000 new jobs. Um, so, yeah, unemployment rate has risen to 4.3% from 4.1%, the highest level since unemployment hit in October 2021. We're talking COVID times. The Seaboard Volatility Index, often referred to as Wall Street's uh, fear gauge, increased by three points to uh, 21.5 again. So yeah, absolutely crazy. And then here, this is what I'm talking about, the AI stuff. Intel led the broader market slide uh, after its share plummeted 29%, pacing the company for its worst day since 2000. After it reported disappointing earnings, said it was eliminating its dividend and eliminating 15% of its workforce. Amazon, 11.9%. NVIDIA, 5.7%. Boeing, 56 Also had big drops Friday morning. So stock market is taking a huge hit, including the Japanese market. A lot of things. Microsoft also dumped a little bit. We're going to be covering that. And even Warren Buffett's, uh, you know, trading uh, investment f firm dropped 55.8% of their Apple holding in the past six months. Absolutely crazy, because you'd think that's, it is their biggest position holding, um, but this is not a great sign, okay? So uh, yeah, here, since the end of 2023, Berkshire has sold 505 million Apple shares, 115 million in the first quarter, and another 390 million in the second quarter as of June 30th. That represents a 55.8% reduction in Berkshire's Apple holdings since the beginning of the year. Why does he sell so much Apple stock? Should others, other investors follow suit? And then obviously here the commenter says, I don't know why Buffett sold such a huge chunk of Berkshire's Apple uh, stock. However, Apple's uh, tepid growth rate um, and high valuation suggest the famed investor may have concluded the stock's prospects are not great. Okay, uh, by the way, you know, Apple is, is always going to be bullish, by the way. Obviously, it's, it's the unicorn for sure. It's a unicorn for sure. And then you have your jump trading, potentially selling Ethereum. Not really good, guys. Jump trading is kind of like another trading firm that has been involved with actually some controversy. I believe they're being uh, investigated by the CFTC as well um, for being kind of like, uh, you know, manipulating Terra Luna and making money off of that. Um, yeah, I can't really comment further on that. But yeah, that's what you need to know. It is a, you know, it's a controversial uh, trading firm. It's a, one of the, it's a very big one as well. But here, according to the 
Ember CN jump trading might be selling Ethereum. Uh, they have been converting a significant amount of uh, wrapped staked ETH worth of 410 million, 120,000 tokens into Ethereum and transferring it into exchanges like Binance and OKX. Since July 25th, they have unwrapped 83 wrapped staked Ethereum into 97,000 Ethereum over nine days. Anyways, this is again not the best news. Um, so, yeah, you can see as well NASDAQ how in the past five days you can see it has. Uh, taken quite a big dip for sure okay and then another one japan stock guys they've actually as well been receiving a huge dump almost as hard as peak of covid which is actually scary japan stocks plunge nearly six percent in the biggest drop since start of pandemic um very very scary stuff so you can see this is the, the screenshot that i have here japan stocks fall to the lowest point since january absolutely crazy um, so, uh, yeah, very, a lot of fear going on guys. Okay. A lot of, a lot of fear. And this is kind of the tweet that I wanted to make just to remind everyone. Okay. Fiat is still the real VC poop coin. Uh, Bitcoin solves this. And obviously when I say, um, I can, you know what, let's, let's do this in the video. Ethereum, uh, Bitcoin solves this. Ethereum adopts this, <laughs> right? And we're going to say here, pulse chain accelerates this <laughs> okay let me know what you guys think of uh, of this tweet i just wanted to like kind of do it um in in uh you know what i mean live so go look, go follow my twitter actually link in the description i'm gonna be posting this as well uh, but as well <laughs> just just to show you guys by the way we've we've really hitting rock bottom like this is bottom signal as a lot of people would say i don't want to really call it that uh, but you can see here for a slum doge millionaire <laughs> my girlfriend of 17 years uh, i don't know how 17 years because he's almost i believe he's like 20 23 or something uh cheated on me crypto portfolio down 12 million this week the bank sees my cars uh, this morning i'm everything done goodbye oh my god and then by the way just quick a quick uh Correction, do you remember when I was talking about the Lil Uzi, Lil, it's actually Lil Pump who, who tattooed the Solana on their forehead and that was kind of like, whoa, that was literally top signal of Solana. Thankfully, this is fake. Okay, so it gives us another chance. Hey, 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 you can hope for better days, greener days for Solana. Uh, even though, by the way, I do believe we're going to see the early days of Solana happen to Pulse Chain. So uh, yeah, believe it or not, just manifest it, guys. Manifest it. You know what I mean? I have things that I believe in. You have to believe in something, guys. Okay? Because if you don't believe in something, you know what I mean? Like, you need to believe <clears throat> and have conviction for what you hold. Okay? It's part of being a, 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 a degen. <laughs> I was going to say a disciplined trader, but that's not how it is. Because actually, you could argue that believing in something is tied to uh, emotional. But um, yeah, you just have to, guys. All right? You really have to. Anyways, um, and then I made this tweet. Okay, I was going to say, uh, imagine the trickle-down effect. If Bitcoin did go to 49 million, as Michael said, it did. The key is to look at the current ratios, as I mentioned. And I said, this is why I, as an altcoin holder, see Bitcoin appreciation is bullish. At the end of the day, we're all in the same boat that crypto, uh, that is crypto industry. We realize that stock market is opaque compared to the transparency of blockchain fiat doesn't have intrinsic value not like it used to when coins were gold result of greed and why more money printed benefits the people who are close to it can the cantillon effect and i said pulse, uh, pulse chain uh, solves this the best bet uh, this altcoin season and you can see for example here risk of losing your money obviously super low risk with bitcoin and of course it gets a high reward when you go into ethereum and then when you go into a large caps and then you go into and micro caps and all their altcoins such as pulse chain pulse chain would be kind of somewhere in between this okay because pulse chain right now is basically around you know just under 1 billion market cap i would say uh so yeah yeah absolutely guys go follow me on my twitter link in description as well by the way i urge you guys to as well join my telegram link in description so you guys can ask around read what the community is saying you know what i mean um just to as well keep yourself you know if you've if you were double guessing about crypto what about your holdings etc etc it's really great to have to be in such a community like this 
uh, I'm really grateful to have it. You know, it's around by the community, um, you know, to, to remind us all, you know, how strong we should be. Okay, because we are actually are in an, in a lucky time. We've been in posting for such a long time. Our bags have been packed up, and I've seen a lot of new people coming in who are DCAing. I'm really, really happy because these are the chances we are literally having such a great time for entry, guys. It's as simple as this. When everyone is fearful, you have to think the contra like you have to be the contrary. Go against the crowd, guys. Okay, so when everyone's fearful, you have to be greedy. It's really as simple as that. I know you've heard that sentence millions of times, but really, you have to really, really clock that in and be like, you know what? You have to act on it. What does it actually mean? Buying in the red candles. Because you know, 99% of crypto people are not in pulse chain. That means something. 99% of people only want to buy when the vo high volumes comes in, when the green candles have already been happening. Do you know what I mean? So understand that, guys. All right? Um, but aside from that, guys, I think I'm going to end the video there. You know what I mean? Those are my main four tokens in Pulse Chain. Uh, I think, uh, obviously, I'm going to, I'm bullish long term, guys. This is short term price orientation, or I'm not short term price orient oriented. Um, you know what I mean? Crypto is not going anywhere, guys. This is just a shit, you know, it's, it's just a uncertainty, FUD that's going on right now. Of course, things will take uh, a plunge. Don't blame them. You know what I mean? Like, people are super emotional at the end of the day. So uh, yeah, it, I, at the end of the day, if you really ask me, if you actually really, really ask me, I don't get the people who click, who are clicking sell button. Bro, are you selling your Bitcoin to hold your fiat? Like, Jimmy, like, what are they selling it back into? Like, they actually want to, they would rather sell Bitcoin back to holding their fiat token that's absolutely hyper, 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 uh, hyper, hyper inflammatory, sorry. <laughs> can't speak it's literally 2 a.m uh hyper inflammatory token right with no supply cap <laughs> 27 trillion market cap one node centralized right absolutely crazy one percent of the holders own 30 percent of it <laughs> so uh, yeah i mean it's it really is as i said the real vc invested poop coin so uh, yeah guys i'm gonna end the video here. i hope you guys enjoyed it like you know what I mean? Yes, whatever re recession fears. I don't think we're going to be into a recession, guys. Okay, this is just a fearful time. You know what I mean? If you actually really think about it, by the way, during COVID, we still had a, an absolutely crazy booming bull market. Think about it. Think about it. Okay, think about it. People were so fearful when March of 2021 happened, where a lot of the stock markets fell down. Think about it, guys. Do you mean? I, actually, things plummeting right now only primes the the alt season. Do you know what I mean? It is re literally just increasing the X's now. The potential growth is becoming bigger and bigger because it will make it like the shock will actually. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> this is good for us, in my opinion. Because uh, now it just means that things will go even higher. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, guys, just remember, okay, don't don't be emotional. If you need, take a step back. You don't need to do anything, any actions. The best thing you can do sometimes is nothing. Don't look at the chart every single day. And, yeah, remember, join my Telegram. Ask your questions. And, uh, yeah, I'll help you. If you have any questions, if you have any fear about crypto and stuff, you can ask me questions. I'm going to let you guys know. Uh, what I'm doing in the meantime, etc. I am cooking a few things in the background, so follow my uh, channel for more, and of course, follow my uh, Twitter and join my talk in the description. And I'll catch you guys later. Thank you very much for all the support. I really appreciate you guys. Bye bye.